Tap on the subscription button and press the notification bell so you can receive news and updates that you can rely on daily. Several audience members at Joe Biden's 2020 campaign rally in Milford, New Hampshire lashed out at the former vice president calling him a number of insults, including pervert and quid pro Joe. Biden was speaking on Sunday night ahead of the state's February 11th Democratic primary, where he is trailing South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, according to Real Clear Politics. A handful of those present interrupted the event on multiple occasions with heckles. Quite a start to Biden's event in Milford, New Hampshire. He was quickly interrupted near the top of his remarks by a protester who called him creepy and made false claims about him being a pervert tweeted NBC News' Mariana Sotomayor. Another woman then yelled quid pro Joe before another man began to shout about Ukraine. Video from the campaign stop shows a man asking Biden about old videos that show him touching children and adults. Doug Wade drops huge impeachment fact that then it exposes the Democrats. Welcome back to the Next News Network. My name is Elijah Schaefer. We hope you enjoy this report. Now, before I continue, I got one more thing to mention here. After a car crash, every second counts. And that is why Patriot Chargers 6 in 1 features were designed to help you in unexpected incidents on the road. Use the built in powerful LED torch or the flashing red emergency beacon for nighttime emergencies. And I'll have more details on this little gadget, life saving gadget, after this video. You can jump to patriotcharger.com right now and use the code NEXTNEWS20 at checkout to get 20% off for this holiday season. Now, back to the news. Jim Hoff from the Gateway Pundit reports that presidential historian and author Doug Wade joined Molly Line on Fox News on Thursday morning to discuss the upcoming impeachment trial in the U.S. Senate. Now, for years, the Democrats and their mainstream media have insisted that America has lost its standing in the world thanks to President Donald Trump. Now, Democrats do this while ignoring President Trump's historic international successes in trade agreements, NATO obligations, that defeat of ISIS, of course, the embassy move in Israel, and dissolving Obama's sham Iranian nuclear agreement. But of course, author Doug Wade went on to discuss the international reaction to the Democrat Party's continued attacks on the president. Take a look. And as far as Russian collusion, I have to tell you, in my book, there's a great story in there. The kids, the Trump kids are traveling all over the world. Heads of state are pulling them aside in 2017. And they're saying, please tell your father how sorry we are about this Russian collusion nonsense. So there you go. If you're the president of China or president of France, you can't wait two years for the Mueller report. You have your own secret service. There's 120 intelligence services in the world. Every one of them checked this out. They knew within 24 hours mm. that this was a bogus story. The future of their country depended on knowing that. So this has kind of uh, lingered on a little too long. Yeah. Now Wade claims that the international community immediately knew the Russia collusion narrative was a hoax and didn't need two years to investigate this sham. But Doug Wade, of course, in, is the author of Inside Trump's White House, the real story of his presidency, and he's out there exposing the real reason why Democrats are investigating Trump. It's because they're afraid that they cannot win again in 2020. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching. Please share our reports with your friends and family. Have a great rest of the day. Make sure that you subscribe below, and may God bless the United States of America. I got more details on this special gadget. Yes, it's the Patriot Charger. It is a lifesaver. Six in one features in this little gadget were designed to help you in unexpected incidents on the road. You can use the built in powerful LED torch or the flashing red emergency beacon for nighttime emergencies in case you're trapped due to flooding or fire, you can use a seatbelt cutter and window breaker to free yourself. This thing is amazing. The Patriot Charger is always within reach because it plugs into your car's cigarette lighter outlet, the 12 volt power port. It also doubles as a car phone charger and a portable power bank. This holiday season, give the gift of peace of mind to your loved ones and take advantage of the 20% off discount with Next News 20 at the link below. It's in the description. Now get it while supplies last. Go to PatriotCharger.com right now. Thank you for watching that report. If you want more, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Next News Network logo right here. You can also watch our latest news reports by clicking here. Or you can get the latest breaking news by clicking here. Or the most viral news on the channel, the news that Hillary and Obama hate, right here.
Authorities are reminding people to be careful around waterways after a series of drowning deaths in the past few days. An 18-year-old woman died at the Thompson River at Cooper's Creek on Monday afternoon where she was swimming with family. A 16-year-old boy was swimming with friends in Sydney's Lake Parramatta also on Monday when he failed to resurface. In Western Australia, a 7-year-old girl drowned at a popular holiday spot in Gilderton despite desperate attempts to revive her. Authorities are asking people to be extra vigilant around, when around waterways and to supervise children at all times, especially during the busy holiday period. Oh, okay. to watch. So this is what people are going to be talking about today, so you guys are prepared. Mm -hmm. The first one is absolutely really mind-blowing because this brings up a lot of moral and ethical questions. So a Chinese scientist helped create the world's first genetically edited babies. He is going to jail. Mm. His name is He Jianhui of China. He is going to be in prison for three years for carrying out what the Chinese government says were illegal medical practices. So last November, he alarmed scientists around the globe, saying that he successfully altered the genetic code of two twin baby girls. Critics questioned his ethics and feared it could open the door to designer babies. And the scientists defended his work to the Associated Press. The world has moved on to the stage for embryogeneity. There will be someone somewhere who is doing this. If it's not me, it's someone else. According to Chinese state media, two other scientists who the court said had con con had conspired with him will go to prison as well. So, you know, this brings up a lot of questions. You don't want people to be able to design their own children right. to genetically modify their embryos. I was wondering what he did, and it, it says he used chemical scissors to cut out a gene that would infect the person with HIV. Right, so what he was doing was preventing the possibility for these girls to get HIV. Right. So there's some good that can come out of it. There but is. But then they say it can pass yeah. to future generations and risk harming other genes. It's, yeah, I mean, I feel like oh. we're there. And we don't know what this really could bring. Yeah. There are a lot of unintended consequences. Okay. Thank you.